da 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 We're going back to the horror the skin is. Mm -hmm. Alright, I forget what it said last time. Something about something shocking at the house. Yuri! Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. Sorry I wasn't home yet. I was having a depressing time at Sayori's, which was actually a few days ago. Were you waiting a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Does no one live at my house? You could always t have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and her and more on my way home. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I like your sweater. So you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. Did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope we got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Ooh. My house is so cool. Why is my bed so big? <laughs> I even don't have a bed that big. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around cur curiously, which makes me feel anxious. I was gonna say, it is so clean. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... It's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I would be really embarrassed if I were to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. That would be weird. No. Has she always had this little beret in her hair? It's probably not a beret either. But why would you get one that matches your hair color? Ah. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Why would you just open right up the egg? Don't snoop. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. I wanted to know what you have in your drawers. <laughs> it was unintentionally. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap and make, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um... Should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Really? Aromatherapy candles? Cool. Oh wow. Didn't know you played on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take your guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Not at all. It's something I like about you, actually. I is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Here rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. What? I did some shopping on my w on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? Oh, okay. See, she didn't- it didn't tell me exactly what it was. <laughs> the detail wasn't that great, I mean. It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are with your, uh, 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 How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. But you're so dark. Depending on the oils or herbs you use, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. I'm sorry? Okay, maybe it's not what I think it is. <laughs> I'm thinking of the little wooden ones you put sticks on. Okay, so it's literally- okay. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout through a small hole in the top. Wow, it smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. 
I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Oh, well, dokie dokie, makes sense, okay. Do you think that would be perfect for sharing your problems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with everything. Anything. Yuri smiles greatly. Gently, I need to learn to read. Clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you push the origami paper out like I, I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh my god, Yuri, please. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper to the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Oh! Wait. How much paper are we talking here? Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Well, that's kind of insulting. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. I don't know how to make that sound. <laughs> okay, it is a giggle sound. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. It's just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Well, she did put that Jasmine thing. Maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Fred. You can write any characters you want. Right, because they're characters, not letters. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Oh, Alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. Carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag with more and pulls out a pocket knife. Why do you have a pocket knife? Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched onto it. Ooh, cool. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's an ordinary pocket knife. Looks really fancy. Ah. Well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. You're whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Alright. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of the craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. No, you like those books. It makes sense. Ah, you're laughing at me. No, no, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of... I was trying to talk way too fast there. I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife in my index finger. Ow! You dummy! <laughs> me? Fred, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. Well, I should have not touched the frickin' blade. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Why would you know that? Oh, no. A small drop of blood slides down the side of my finger. Oh. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it noticeably. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off. I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Okay, that's a thing that's happening. <clears throat> Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and starts- I couldn't read the rest of that because I clicked by accident. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I- Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh... Sure, it was a little weird and took me by surprise. 
but I guess she was trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little bit. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> yes, me. Yes, Fred. That was stupid and weird, and what are you doing? I take it Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Fred! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. <clears throat> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Fred. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out. Lay them all out side by side. Not outside. Looks better than I expected, and it will be very effective as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint ta paint tablet tables tablets ta tablets tablets. I can read. That word just didn't look right to me. Ah, oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put in each of the- Wait, what? Um, uh, Yeah, I don't paint like that. <laughs> six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching this for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Okay. Taking your advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than using full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint drip that drips, and then bring it back into my room. Yuri. Yes? I come up to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Her face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's make the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, we'll write an inspirational quote, quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well. It'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of my elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, that's not what I said. No, I didn't mean it like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting a moment and thinks, uh, thinking to herself, my voice is going weird. <clears throat> For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with the one other person, even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel makes things feel a little bit, little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite opposite, quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think you feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Get! Yeah. Sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. 
Just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. Or I could have thought bumped into you, I don't know. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. How? Was I holding a paintbrush? Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh, the picture. She looks sleepy. Here. I pat Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah. Uh, something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. Didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. Has that hand always been there on my arm? But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Hmm? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. It's almost as if almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. Her mouth is tiny here. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil making me giving me the Disney feeling? Neri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little light ahead today. Didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment, is the moment is over as soon as it passes. As soon as it begins, I can't read today. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling in the night sky with the white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty and natural looking. I think it came up better than expected. I'm really happy with the result. Yeah, me too. You gonna add the letter now? Lettering now? Uh, not yet. I was gonna say it needs to dry first. That's true, but won't it take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Haha. <laughs> you say it like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. Probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. Fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's kind of like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean it's the last time it could happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad, my, I'm glad I was able to help, and I hope I can read better soon. <laughs> Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. But wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you would like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri smiles, simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So, you're very thoughtful, Fred. Yuri takes a step closer to me and briefly squeezes my hand. Oh, hello! Music, why'd you cut out and why is she so close? I kind of like that about you. Well, you are extremely close. How am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. <sighs> Sayori! <gasps> Sayori! Oh no! Uh, ah! Ah! 
Hi, Fred. Savory. Where's the music? Bring it back. Just now, we weren't... <sighs> it's okay, Fred. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll be... We'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sari beans. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri zooms off. Sari <laughs> waves goodbye after her. Sari... Oh, this isn't the music I wanted. <laughs> I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being very mean to me. So I had to come here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got with to her. It makes me really happy and you're crying and I'm gonna cry. That you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Fred? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. Oh my god, Sayori, I wanna hug you. <laughs> This would be so much better if I could just disappear. No, Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Fred. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. No, Sayori. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just- I'm sorry, Monica, what? Monica was right about what? I'm forgetting things, by the way, so I don't know what she told her. Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about- you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Siri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Fred. I'm really scared. What are you scared of Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Fred, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I'll always, I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings. I know what you need most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Give to you. Sayori. Now, I saw Markiplier click on the top one, so I'm gonna click on the bottom one, even though I want to say the top one. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but... Please trust me that I know what's best, and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll get things back to the way they were. I... See. Sayori so forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Uh, this is what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest. I'm sorry! <laughs> I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? No, Sayori, stop! For being so selfish, so please, please don't worry about the stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time there'd be no happy stuff, but is that what I said? No, that is not what I said. Listen to me. That's why I came here. So I could just get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right. I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Fred. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So. Sayori's so smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. Sayori! I can't do that right now. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. Can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more wee smile before turning in around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. Having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. 
I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm gonna give it everything I got. Sari will always be my dearest friend. I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. So I gotta stop it here. Cause it's about to kick off. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, warning about the future episodes. If you have not already checked the warnings for this game, please do so. The link will be in the description. And if any of those things bother you, do not continue to watch this because, oh my god. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one.